Hey guys, we are going to be doing a physical chemical change lab today. And while I do each little activity, I want you to try to recognize and distinguish if it's a physical or chemical change that's taking place. Remember, for a chemical change, something new needs to be formed. So we're gonna be looking for bubbles, if it bubbles on its own, if there's a temperature change, if there's an odor change, remember you waft to see if there's an odor change. You're going to look for a color change. Uh, you'll look to see if a precipitant is formed. Remember a precipitant's a great way to tell a chemical reaction has occurred. You form something brand new. It looks like a powder floating around and that's a precipitant. And then the last thing, I don't know if I said temperature. So you're going to look for bubbles, color, odor, precipitant, and temperature change. Because all chemical reactions have either given off or taken in heat. They're either exo or endothermic. So here we go. The first is sugar and water. So I have some water here and I'm going to add some sugar to it. Add some sugar to it. And I stir and voila, all the sugars disappeared. It's all dissolved. So think about what you know about physical and chemical. And here is sugar water. The next one I'm going to do is burning magnesium. And this one's really fun. So I'm gonna turn off the light so you'll be able to see it. our Bunsen burner. See I have it going and I'm going to take a piece of magnesium. See the magnesium right there? So I'm going to take a piece of magnesium. I'm going to use my crucible tongs that y'all learned in your equipment section and I have it in the so when I put it in the flame. Oh here it goes. Oh look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, how pretty. Oh, it's bright. Oh, don't look directly at it. Could hurt your eyes. Wow. All right. So now we have the magnesiums turned into ashes. And that would be that one. Okay. The next one is milk and food coloring. This one's pretty cool. You can do this one at home. So I have me a I have a petri dish with some milk in it, a small layer of milk and I'm going to add a drop of food coloring on each corner. Drop food coloring on each corner. And we have red. Whoops, got a lot, a lot of that red. you to look what happens when I add just a drop of soap in that center. Ooh, do you look at look at all the colors? Do you see that? Look at them swirling around. Cool. So this is milk and food coloring and then soap. So it, it's beautiful. It's making a swirling pattern but try to think what's causing that swirling pattern. All right, so really the colors are just mixing. So as you try to figure out if it's physical or chemical, the colors, the milk is actually repelling, the, is being repelled by the soap, and that's causing the food coloring to swirl around, but it's just really pretty. So that's the food coloring one. Next, we have, we're going to take two chemicals, lead to nitrate, lead to nitrate, right here, lead to nitrate, and I'm going to put a couple of drops on a watch glass. Well, so I say, oh, there we go. So that's lead to nitrate. 
and then I'm taking the potassium iodide, and watch what happens immediately. Oh, cool. You see that? I know it's hard to see, but it's really, it's bright yellow, but there's grains in there so that I can see that I have formed something that's powdery looking and it's bright yellow, very pretty. And the last demo we're gonna do is hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, and a piece of magnesium. Let me get you my mag here's my hydrochloric acid in here. There we go. Hydrochloric acid, and then I'm going to drop a piece of magnesium in there. Oh my goodness, do you see that? Woo! And you can waft, oh, it has a strong odor. It's really bubbling. Oh, and it's gone. The magnesium's already gone. So that is our five, five activities showing physical and chemical changes.